two, three. This is an unusual catch. This is a so-called mirror papillo. It's very silvery, uh, has beautiful lace wings or lace fins that come off almost like an angel fish. Uh, this is not the usual uh, papillo that we catch. Why is it called a mirror? It, it, can't you see that it looks like a mirror? It's just it just shines so brightly compared to uh, other papillo. How big is it? Oh, it's about maybe a pound and a half. Relatively small, but this fish gets to be not as large as uh, the largest ulua. They, they usually are uh, maybe up to 20 pounds is a, a very big uh, fish. And it tends to lose its lace wings, uh, lace fins as it gets older. and starts to look more like the other type of uh, uh, puppy. This is one of those fishing days that they call, it's called catching and not fishing. Whereas other days, I'm not so lucky. Uh, today was well, one of those rare occasions when fish were biting and there was more than one to be had. So we'll have a good fish dinner to honor uh, the fish uh, and to enjoy them to celebrate and to celebrate uh, the, the good fortune we had today and today being today is 4th of July so you have four fish and one to grow on and there were others that we hooked on to and some which we let go happy 4th of July happy 4th of the fish papillo and mirror papillo Enjoy. Yeah, so. Andrew is playing with a mirror papillo. Unusual catch. Uh, and it's a very beautiful fish. It starts off like this, looking like an angel fish with long thread fins. And later it becomes like the other papillo. that sort of look like this. You know? The rest of them look like, like this kind of. But this is a different variety, what we usually catch, which is called the white trevally or white Papio Ulua. And this that one there is the mirror uh, papillo. Andy, what do you think? Do you think Ungi's a good fisherman? Yes. Do you want to be a good fisherman no. like Ungi? Why? He'll teach you how. How come this is black? Why is it black? I don't know. What is it's that? It's not really black. It looks like it's black, but it's clear. The back part is black. So when you look through something clear, it looks like black. If you look into a window, you look through the glass, that's what the eyes are like. That's what our eyes are like. It's like a window, but I look at your eyes and your eyes look black, right? Or my eyes look brown, and then, uh, but it's really clear, otherwise we can't see through it. And what, what do the fins, why are they so long? What do they do? Do they help them to stay afloat or what? Probably not. Is it just decoration? More like a decoration. How many do you how you how many little strings do you feel, Andrew? Huh? How many are there? Are there uh, one, two? See, you have to look over here. See, spread them out. Do they get any longer as they get older? Gungi? They get shorter. Oh. And is it is it like a piece of wire or a piece of plastic, Andrew? Like, huh? What does it feel like, wire or plastic? Plastic. Plastic. You think people can, other fish can get tickled by it? When they go close to the mirror alua or mirror um, papillo? They tell you, don't come next to me, you're gonna tickle me. I don't know, we have to go in the, into the ocean and swim with the fish, then we'll know what the answer is. How many is. fish are there? How many fish? One. And how many over here? Ah. Four. So four plus one is? Four plus one is? Five. Ah. Good. How come you put one in here and one in here? This is just to show the different fish. And you know what, Andrew? They wouldn't all fit in one tray. You have to stuff it on the top here. Because this one is so big. Where are you going to go today, Andrew? 
where are you folks gonna go? I think we might go to see Life Park if it's open. See Life Park if it's open? And yes. you think you'll see some Miro and Puppio there? Not sure yet. Yeah. You might see something that looks like this. And if we do, I'll show you. These fish get bigger than you. They get to be, this kind can grow over 100 pounds. Whoa! 100 pounds. Almost as big as, as, as Justine. Or maybe even Brennan. Did you know I can do magic with these fish? How do you do magic with the fish? And I can make them grow. Super duper 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 big. You can make them bigger than anything else in the whole wide world. How do you do that? I do magic. Oh, magic. Oh. That's not going to be too good. Oh, I see. Then you can eat all of that big fish. There's too much fish to eat. And what are we celebrating today, Andrew? That you don't have school and Dad's home from work? I don't know. You don't know? Is it Christmas? No, I don't know. And remember you had a you had a parade yesterday, so you should know. What were you celebrating? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, tell Popo, because that Gungi doesn't know what the parade is all about. About the holiday today. Oh, the holiday today. Which is? I don't know. The July what? July what? Fourth. Oh, July yeah. fourth. And what do we celebrate? What colors do we use to celebrate July fourth? Red, white, and blue. Just like the American what? Flag. Flag, because it's our Independence Day, right? What's the Independence Day? Okay, let's ask Gungi to tell us about what is the Independence Day, Gungi? The Independence Day is when we became a free country, the United States of America. America, yes, on the 4th of July. 1776. Do you know how long ago that was? No. A long time ago. More than how many years? I don't know. Can't count, yeah. Even Googie can't count. It's probably over 300 years. Well, not quite. Yeah. But this is a little bit could have been in the water. What? Is it red? Wet, he said. Wet. Oh, yes. And we're going to have to put it away because otherwise they get too dry and then they'll spoil. Then they won't be good to eat. We're going to do the right thing when you catch a fish. You eat it if you're going to catch it. Otherwise, you don't catch it. You leave it alone. Or if you, if you catch it and you're not going to eat it, you put it back and let it grow or live by itself, okay? Otherwise, when you catch it, you, you catch it and then you should eat it or give it to someone who you know will eat it and enjoy it. That's the right thing to do when you go fishing. Do you like to eat fish, Andrew? You don't like to eat fish? Not I'm even sure you fish. do. I think you do. I make it nice and crispy. Yeah. And you know I can make the eye, eye trouble bangle. Yeah, but we can make it so you can eat the eye. Remember? You ate the fish eye. Yes, Daddy, Daddy then, gave you fish. But then you can't eat the eyeball. Yes, because the eyeball gets too hard. And that's good. You just suck it. You can suck it, get the juice out of it. Just like your daddy used to do when he was a little boy. But don't swallow the eye. Yeah, don't swallow it. But Otherwise, the fish can see what's inside your stomach, you think? He says, hey, I know what's inside this guy's stomach. I just, he just ate my eyeball. <laughs> Why not? Because the fish is already dead. Oh, yes. Okay, right. so later on, when you come back home from Sea Life Park, maybe okay. you can help Gungi clean the fish and open up his stomach, okay? Would you like to see that? And after Sophia wakes up from her nap, then she can play with the eyeballs too? I will cut this. You can get a scissors and cut it. it. We want to. Why? Save it. Why don't cut it. Oh, I'm just asking. You're going to make whiskers out of them? With whiskers. Whiskers on your face. Like a cat has whiskers? I will glue it on my face. Yeah, just like, just like a cat.